hey loves welcome back to another hair tutorial so of course if you guys follow me on instagram which you should definitely follow me at the okay kayla i've been talking about how i wanted to do mini braids for the longest so i got these really cute charms and decided to shampoo my hair and get ready to make mini braids so of course i'm going to be using the miss jessie's products line and i'm using the leave-in condition for my first product and I wanted to make sure my hair was pretty moisturized um, as far as like my first base product before I got ready to put my mini braids in so of course I'm just applying that in four different sections and I kind of started off on air dried hair a little bit now it was kind of damp but once I distribute this all throughout my hair and kind of just comb it through what I decided to do is sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes just to kind of dry down the product and then you're also going to see me twist it and kind of cross it over my head just to kind of have it stretched out as it's drying down a little bit. So I simply just apply leave-in conditioner. We're going to make this very light. I'm not going to apply any gel to my hair. So just simply using three products. So a leave-in conditioner, a buttercream, and some edge control. All right, starting off with the first braid, I'm gonna be taking the Miss Jessie's Curly Buttercream, like I said. Whenever I'm opening anything new, I like to get every ounce of product, so I'm about to take some product off this seal. I'm gonna take about this much and add that to the section. And y'all, this product smells really, really good. Also, I want to make sure I'm getting my kitchen really well. Now, I'm going to take a rat tooth comb. You can take a um, wide tooth comb if you want, but I'm just making sure this entire section is smooth. It has the product well distributed through it. Make sure those roots are good. Let me pin this up a little bit better. And then once I do that, I'll just finish braiding. Try to make sure they're even. Okay, there we go. See, my hair is already like reverting, but it's okay. Just know that these braids are gonna be very moisturized. Like this cream right here. I can already tell just by how it feels. It's gonna be so good on my hair. So when I get to about this much, I'm just gonna kind of combine it and twist it a little bit. Just so I'll have, you know, easy takedown. And then I don't wanna do it all the way, so I'm just gonna kinda just coil the end and add a little bit more buttercream to the end. I want my ends to be coiled. I feel like it just looks seamless and it looks nice and cute and curly. So that's one braid and it's so tiny, so tiny. All right, nothing much to it. You know, just simply add the buttercream to each section, braid it in a freeform way. So going backwards with the back section. And when I get towards the end, I just twist it a little bit and then coil it at the end.
Alrighty, so I have this side done. So just to show you guys how I sectioned it off. Did like a row right here with two and this one has three. And then the top has four. So just to show you guys, this is literally how tiny my braids are. And just from the braids alone, you can literally see how like uneven my hair is in certain areas, especially like right here. Like this braid is so short, but yeah, it's layered. You know, I'm trying to grow it out and have it all one. Now, once I have my uh, section separated in the front, I do like to go in with the edge control, which is the hold me down edge control. And I'm gonna be placing that on the roots. So like I said in the front, I like to make sure that it's super nice and neat because that's the most invisible area of the hair. So I'm just making sure I get pretty much all of the roots. Okay, so after this last braid, just for clarification, in the back section, I wasn't too crazy about having perfect parts. Now in the front, yes, because that's gonna be the most visible part. And again, I did add edge control to the root area in the front section and not so much the back section. Um, please forgive my neck. I definitely should've put some edge control back there. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically it. And I did go to sleep with a bonnet on and just simply tied down my edges with like a simple scarf. And then when I got in the shower, you know, just put the bonnet on and the shower cap. Really, really low maintenance. So I was really pleased with how this came out. Now, the next morning, I just simply added some hair charms and called it a day. Like this Miss Jessie's product line, especially that buttercream, is the truth. Like, this little K charm was my favorite element of the braids. Like, this just made me want to continue to wear it. Because honestly, I had to let the braids grow on me. It was very out of my comfort zone, but I love it. Like, I just feel very Zoe Kravitzy <laughs> with these braids, but I love it. And it's very low maintenance, very perfect for a low, uh, the low manipulation hairstyle. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Bye.